Hey folks, I think the joke is on us. By us, I mean conservatives who thought that President Trump was nominating conservative Supreme Court justices. Again and again, we see now the fingerprints of the Republican elites and just how much influence they had over the Trump administration. We also see uh, what happens when the Republican quote establishment nominates safe candidates. I think about Kavanaugh. So many of us worked hard to get him confirmed. I wrote numerous articles, several articles for the Epoch Times and various places supporting Kavanaugh's right to the presumption of innocence and due process. And he has paid us back by supporting more progressive causes and not being the conservative justice that we thought he would be. And then with, with Amy Coney Barrett, very disappointed in her, but not really surprised because the American Bar Association is pretty left-leaning. They didn't really oppose her that strongly. And I guess they knew her better than we did. The one thing we knew about Amy was that she was strong on pro-life issues. As a devout Catholic uh, and a mother, that doesn't surprise us, but there are, are a lot of other issues and she seems to be pretty much in line with some of the progressives on issues. She clearly comes across to me as an anti, uh, a never Trumper. I was going to say, I was going to say an anti Trumper, but I'll say a never Trumper. And it seems like among the conservatives, there are several never Trumpers on the court and their disdain and hatred for all things Trump seems to have gotten in the way of their interpretation of the Supreme Court. So we have uh, our work cut out for us in the future. I'm not sure what's going to happen given the fact that the Supreme Court decision concerning the election and their failure to support any type of review makes it much harder for Republicans to get uh, elected in the future unless the state legislatures stand up, review their uh, voting regulations within the states and make necessary changes. Something has to be done so that the American people can trust the integrity of the election process.